hello guys in this video i'll be talking about da5 2017 rom and let's see what it first has i'll show something what it has it has a totally bloat free software the camera app is improved and you get the green battery signal too and you get storage about 10.50 gb and also the device manager saves a lot of ram okay so let's move to the installation part <laughs> So let's install this ROM. So we need to press the home key, the power key and the volume key at the same time. This will boot it into the recovery mode. Okay, so first let's adjust the brightness and screen on time. I'm no carefulness. You okay? This is okay. Now go to backup. If you want to backup, you can backup the whole system or only data. You can backup here. You can select storage to micro SD or OTG, anything you want. Okay. And next step is to wipe Delvic cache data and then storage system. And go back. Advanced wipe. Sorry. Go back. Install and install where you have put the Note 7 ROM. Given the link in the description and swipe to confirm flash. Okay, so I'm going next. Can have anything related to partition. So I will be going skipping this. And the installation is finishing. So I think it will finish faster. And this ROM is best for the bloat free UI. UI is totally bloat free, better battery life, better RAM performance. Very, means everything is better in this ROM. Some camera add ons also are there. Next. Okay, so it says reboot device will go to next and we automatically reboot everything every j7 owner who has uh, means ended his warranty should install it or some people who are uh, eager to get they should install it too it may boot loop once or twice so i took the name boot loop and yeah it got boot looped so don't worry it may boot loop once or twice but uh, if it's stuck in the boot logo for 20 to 30 minutes you need to install the ROM again this happens when you mistakenly uh, uncheck the data means you didn't clear the data and you directly flash the ROM so please uh, follow these instructions so ok I will skip this part the ROM has booted up and as we can see you can get this S7 launcher like fail let me increase some brightness ok you can see this S7 launcher like fail and it is very cool you can see this green battery labeled here and it's looking very very cool get the UHQ upscaler so get multi, multi windows you can close from here there's visibility and extra some quick settings and also the sim card manager so you can see now some apps of on full apps are graced 
I also have the memo app which I uh, deleted so this is very awesome fully bloat free no bloatware no google app means no google apps extra one the play games movies that comes bloatware it is not a and storage we get let's see the ram and storage okay let's clean the ram you can get the current information about the ram and it's up to we get 492 exactly means near to 500 mb we get and storage oh we get a huge storage of 10.52 gb only 5.48 gb is huge like as this talk some apps also not dandy animation is cool looking this is looking very cool so we get the both one so advanced features we get accessories here so let's uh, look up here no new thing change sound and vibrations ringtones are same only touch sounds are same and display we can give here so we need to go to screen in uh, HD and apply it Content scale requires the root access. You need to grant the root access. And here is the DPI change. You can set it to 32310. Any custom also. The easy mode is also here. And this both are not working, so I will turn off. And the wallpaper and themes is in one bunch. So you can see here icons too. You can download themes. Okay, and you have to do these things you can get the icons this is very open very good lock screen security so I think we get it direction lock yes so direction lock is also here let's set up and if there is anything okay so it's working let's see Okay, so it's working good. So it's nice. You can set the direction lock too. Here's the Samsung themes. I've also hidden an icon as game and music and everything gracefully. And this is very awesome. You can see here Enigma ROM, ROM info, and Alush98. So thank you, Alush98, if you are uh, having this. And this is very awesome. You can see here the Enigma. so this is uh, I need to set it up so ROM version 2.0 and ROM date is 24 and today is at 27 so downloaded this at 25 tested at till 26 and today only I am making the video and posting it soon software info we get 6.0.1 and it's the November 1 patch so yeah finally and here's an announcement you can have the keyboard settings and other application settings so very awesome this rom is not talking it bad so there is nothing bad in this rom everything clean and good awesome you can see this green battery indicator the gallery also very awesome so i've clicked some images here so very awesome let's see the camera here camera is changed this circle one okay let me show you something mm, about the camera is working or not it's fully working let's work with the flash Flash is also working. Let's see some effects. Can get a really shot. Whoa. So here are various effects we get extra and stretch the filters too. Oh, 
this is also you can adjust the filters oh sorry just turn the flash off and have a filter okay so you can adjust it and wow very awesome so very quick very fast this is this is very fast and quick so you can get a quick handling of the uh, camera okay let me position this okay so let us find more okay i didn't show you the selfie camera this is a selfie camera and it's clicking pictures yes with the flash okay the flash was returned and we are easily clicking pictures you can go to settings every settings is here and default settings and modes we get animated gif is only a bug here see some blackish i can see and when i turn the mode in the you can feel like there's a way this means so i don't know what is this animated gif in the front area and everything is very awesome in this room Again, the direction lock is working perfect some lag i thought here but this is the best rom bloat free get extra storage of uh, nearly 1 gb you get extra than other roms and this is totally awesome you can apply some uh, exposed modules to and make it look cool beautiful and with this wallpaper you can save also your time so your battery so this is very cool rom i'm just saying for those who are j7 and those who have tripped your knocks already uh, those who want to trip it and have lost their warranty please install this rom because this is the best for j7 battery battery also i tested it will last 25 hours with a gaming and if you are a normal user it can last 28 to 29 hours this is very best so that's it for this rom and i'll be coming back with other videos for j7 thank you if you like this video please press the like button and subscribe for more videos thank you and goodbye